Kalango TV. Bonga na Jalas on Jalango TV. A very beautiful afternoon from wherever you're watching. This is Jalango TV and this is Bonga Najalas. Live from County 001. You know how we do. Thank you so much, my brother Hassan Joho, for allowing us to be in your county and the amazing, amazing welcome. We appreciate you. Definitely, we are bringing you one of the most amazing, beautiful stories in this county this one person who's decided that you know what name a token nairobi let me move all the way to mombasa definitely the beautiful amazing vera sidika karibu sana Ooh, <laughs> how you doing i'm fine so the sanitized germany sanitized oh, of course <laughs> Um, I know, right? Like in Nairobi, fair ipo. Ipo kabisa. Kabisa. Ama ni corona ya Nairobi liku fanya ukahama Nairobi kabisa. Like in corona iko kila semu. Kila semu. Have you been? I've been fine. How's corona treating you? Well, it's hectic on everyone, especially because people know I travel a lot. So, I haven't traveled in five months. You have not left where? Nairobi or Mombasa? I've not. I've not left the country. You've not left the country yeah, I mean, in five months. Yes, I think uh -huh. since uh, March. From March. March. Uh -huh. Yeah, March. Oh, five months. Five months. Man, are you corona. feeling like? Are you feeling like you really immediately are from where? Well, hey, well, I think uh, international flights are on, uh -huh. but everyone still has that fear, especially uh -huh. because out there it's a lot. It's corona a lot. Is, is more serious out there than it is in Africa. So mm -hmm. I feel like uh, as much as it's open, we mm -hmm. still have the doubts and like, oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm scared. You're scared. Yeah, because imagine if you get to, <laughs> if you get hospitalized uh -huh. in, in the in the in the US or in the UK, mm -hmm. there's so much that you need. You uh -huh. know, there's a lot and it's very expensive. Uh -huh. uh, medical care in the, in the in foreign countries is very expensive, uh -huh. by the way. So mm -hmm. we're very lucky by the Kenya. We're so lucky. Wow, wow man. thank you <laughs> so, so much for welcoming us at uh, the VS spa yes wow guys we are live from the vs spa vs spa is this amazing amazing gig that Vera's put together all the way in mombasa this is on the third avenue right third avenue. right behind uh, city, city mall right behind city mall there's the third avenue i'm telling you it is beautiful it's beautiful it's beautiful congratulations thank you thank you so much mm. it's, it's a very huge step because most people would be like uh, why are you leaving Nairobi? You mm -hmm. know, Nairobi is where, you know, it's a capital city. So that's where everyone is running to. Mm -hmm. So I'm moving backwards like, okay. Mm -hmm. Everyone is like, are you sure this is going to work? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I, I believe business people take risks. And it's because of the risk they take that they become successful. Yes. You know, you, mm -hmm. you, you have to take a risk. And even you doing Jalango TV, mm -hmm. you, you had to like sacrifice yeah. one or two things. Mm -hmm. And look at you, you're successful. I mean, it's, been, <laughs> it's been a couple of months already. Uh, getting we are blowing this thing. thousand views soon. You know, <laughs> uh, subscribers. Mm -hmm. you're, you're heading your way to one million subscribers soon. That's true. So mm -hmm. Everyone who's in business, who understands business, needs to take a risk. That's true. And for me, I feel like the main reason I moved mostly was because... I feel more at home in Mombasa uh, because I was born and bred here, you know mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, and I, w I was missing my family. I it got to a point when I realized sometimes you chase paper every other time. You chase money, 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 and you forget about life. Mm -hmm. You know, you forget about the things that matter. You mm -hmm. know, it's not about money. It's not about material things. Mm -hmm. It's about the people who care about you, the mm -hmm. people you want to be close to. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like because I've made a name for myself, I can work from anywhere. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, I work on online. Mm -hmm. So I can get bookings online and I still get to travel to wherever I have to travel mm -hmm. for an event. Uh, so I realize it won't really affect me as much because I'm not someone who's who has to be somewhere for them to make things happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because so, even in Mombasa, I'm still working. I'm still yeah. promoting online. I'm still mm -hmm. doing a, a product. I'm still working with some companies to promote their products. I'm still doing endorsements and stuff like that mm -hmm. from here. So how the people of Mombasa received you? Ah, oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. It. First of all, mm. I feel like with the spa, people haven't seen this before. You know, people, okay. You know, people in Mombasa have this excitement of Dubai, Dubai, London, mm. come on, London, Dubai. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. and I feel like they don't have that experience. Okay. You are like 
I have so many people who use, I used to have clients who come from Nairobi, from Mombasa to Nairobi to mm -hmm. get their stuff done. Okay. Get their hair done, mm -hmm. makeup. Um, and they realize that most of the time, us, especially as public figures, we always open businesses and focus it in Nairobi and we always forget about Mombasa. Mm -hmm. You know, we always station our businesses in Nairobi and we forget about the people in Mombasa. Mm -hmm. And uh, since it's my home, I, I decided, let me just take this back home with me. And because my business was like one and a half years old, mm -hmm. uh, it felt like it was too soon to leave it on its own mm -hmm. in Nairobi and open a branch. Mm -hmm. So since I want to be here permanently, this is my home. You this know? Is, yeah, this is your this home. Is my home. Now, no, now, 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 let, let me ask you. Yeah. So you've moved everything from um, from Nairobi, relocated everything, closed doors in Nairobi, and no. said, "Let me go back home and make sure that things work." Home. Do we have a branch of VS in Nairobi that is still running? Okay, I moved the spa. I had a VS Beauty Parlor in Westlands. Mm. I moved the spa uh, to Mombasa with me because I'm going to be here like 90% of the time. Mm. My house is still in Nairobi, you know, my house in Kitchener. Yes, yeah. So I still have, I can go to Nairobi whenever I feel like. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stop me. My business is still there, Vitox. Mm. But I think there's a difference between a product business and a business that includes services. Mm. With services, I feel like you have to be there. Your presence has to be felt mm -hmm. because when the clients come in and they feel the presence of the owner, they feel more comfortable. Mm -hmm. and there's that attachment that they have with you but when you have products you can actually sell it from anywhere in the from world. anywhere you because are the only thing you need to get is the stock that you know you need to take the stock you need to know how many how many sold how many left so you don't really have to be there physically as opposed to a service service mm -hmm. people want to feel the experience and when the owner is there physically they feel at home they feel comfortable wow yeah even so, if they have a small uh, mm -hmm. complaint and they know that they can actually tell the owner they feel very nice that they, the owner will listen to them mm -hmm. yeah how was the launch? How was the launch? The launch was amazing. Um, actually, Eric Omondi uh, was the MC at the launch. Uh -huh. uh, Eric is a good friend of mine for years, as, as yeah, well as you are. <laughs> um, the launch was really nice. Uh, we had people coming through. We had uh, one or two politicians coming in to support. Um, I had friends that I grew up with since high school. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, people that I've known for a while mm -hmm. came in. Uh, we had potential uh, clients coming in. We had CEOs of companies coming in. Um, it was an amazing launch. I thank God. And we tried to control the traffic because with Corona, so mm. we didn't want to have a big a big crowd. crowd and then, Just, yes, mm. you know, and we made sure everyone was screened because we have the thermometers and we have the sanitizers and we had we made sure everyone was okay mm. before mm. they got in. Mm. Um, it was a private event. It was beautiful. People went in and they're like, "Wow!" Mm -hmm. Nobody believed that this is actually in Mombasa. People, clients have been walking in and like, "Oh my God!" I normally go to Nairobi to make my hair, mm -hmm. and now I'll be coming here. You mm -hmm. know, so mm. it's a very very good positive. So did you did, did did you move with your service team from Nairobi to this place um, or did you get a new team in Mombasa? Okay, so I felt like it's only fair to get a new team in Mombasa. I mean, me moving as well is a good thing because I'm creating job opportunities for people back home. Back home, yeah. You know, and mm. it, it would feel so unfair if I would move with uh, my team from mm. Nairobi, mm. yet we have people here who are skilled. You know, we have people here who have good services. Mm -hmm. So I have a fresh team mm -hmm. from 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 the like everyone here is new, mm -hmm. um, and uh, basically as well because now mm -hmm. the other team that we had, some of them are married, they have kids. Mm -hmm. You they, know, they could not to move. relocate uh -huh. to, to relocate people mm -hmm. who have families is very difficult. It's very hard because it's like you're separating mm -hmm. them with their. So VS yeah. Spa is, is for Mombasa by yes, Mombasa by Mombasa. We also do have. Uh, about three to four staff who came in from Nairobi. Mm. Uh, we have a barber who came in from Nairobi as well. He's a really good one. Mm. Yeah, um, yeah, he's about to go yes. have my head cut. So um, have ha have my in. head, no, not head, have my hair cut. <laughs> yes. So we have a barber from uh, Nairobi. From he's Nairobi. really good. Uh -huh. um, we have him here and we also have other barbers from Mombasa. Mm. We have a lady who does really good stitch lines, mm -hmm. hair. Um, okay, I don't know stitch lines, hair. Hey. Yeah. Hey, but you can just tell oh, I we have, have a female fans. Yeah. So when you walk in at uh, VS Bar, what should you expect for ladies? Oh wow, for ladies, look at this glam. First of all, are I, you I, looking I, really <laughs> uh, obradicious? <laughs> The word is obradicious. So what's, what does obradicious mean? Obra, obradicious is the process whereby yes. you are just amazing. Oh wow! <laughs> Do you explain the process whereby? It sounds like in class. <laughs> like osmosis is a process <laughs> and so so it's glam all over glam all uh -huh. out uh we do hair we have 
uh, wigs, we have weaving uh, mm -hmm. technicians, we have nail technicians, mm -hmm. we have makeup. Our makeup artist is really good as well. And we cater for everyone. Like, we also have a kids lounge. Yeah, yeah, so the kids lounge. Yeah, we have a mm. kids lounge. We did amazing artwork there. The kids love it. Mm. Uh, we have a Muslim, you know, Mombasa is the percentage is very big for the Islamic religion. The Islamic, yes. So we had to make sure we have a section for them mm -hmm. because uh, most times people don't really go to salons in Mombasa because they're scared of men walking in anytime. Uh -huh. So we had to So you've sure. gone and got a, yes. a very special place yes, for them. for them, yes. They uh -huh. can actually have their, if they have, want to do bridal, the hina, makeup, everything, hair, nails, uh -huh. Uh -huh. they have their own space for that. Where mm -hmm. they feel like nobody's going to walk in, that that's a man, mm -hmm. that will make them feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So we have that, we have a VIP barber shop. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah, yeah, that the is where I'm going to have my cut. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 uh, everything that Vera is saying, uh, uh, Gina will be walking you guys through the whole spa for you guys to see how this place is beautiful and how it's looking. I've, yes. I've walked in myself. It's amazing. There's a beautiful, beautiful lady at the front desk. She's called Flora. She welcomes you in. Then kaboom, you see how amazing all white and all decked this place is. Yeah. Yani, if you are in Mombasa, I don't know where you make your hair. I don't know where you get your glam done. But this is surely the place to be. So Vera is back home. And the biggest people who support uh, Vera back here at home is definitely the people of Mombasa. Just like she's saying, this place is for Mombasa by Mombasa. Thank you guys so, so much. And for, also for Nairobians mm, and all the foreigners. Of course, yes, in. when they're coming in. I mean, Mombasa uh, is a tourist attraction. I mean, mm -hmm. that's where all the tourists come in. Mm. Uh, domestic tourism as well. So we do have clients coming in from who mm. just came in from Nairobi. We have mm. clients who've been coming in who are here on holiday. Mm. So it's that spot where we, you know, Mombasa doesn't have options where you can actually feel at home, relax, mm. and mm. somewhere classy. Mm. So this is the go-to place. Wow. You know? Yes. That's what we're talking about. This is the go-to place. Yanimo, uh, this lady has just come back home yes. to set up one of these. So this is why you were born. Yes, I was born. Well. In, I was I, I was born in Kimbeni. Kimbeni. You know oh, Kimbeni Estate down hey, here. Okay. <laughs> on, on, just past the West Con as you go yes, up in. <laughs> yes, I was born in Kimbeni Estate. I went to MM Shah and then I went to. Uh, I went to Rimsha, then I went to South of the Sea, uh -huh. in, uh, like, as we're going to uh, Likoni. Ferry. Uh, yes, South of mm -hmm. the Sea. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, actually, I was born in Aga Khan Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> and my full names are Vera Sijika Mangasia, <laughs> not Shikwekwe. No, 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 no. Unaenda raka sana Shikwekwe. Shikwekwe, listen, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so 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 where so you are Vera Sidika Mungasia. Mungasia. Yes. That is dad. Yes. Uh, yes and did so dad and mom me. come during the launch? Yes, they were here. Oh my yeah. god. Uh -huh. My mom was looking so pretty. I posted on my I saw snap. it. Eh? Yeah, so my parents oh my god, my dad. Uh -huh. My dad literally built this place. It's like it was his own spa. Oh, he my was here throughout. He was here throughout buying materials. So he lives the, both of them live in Mombasa? Yes, they do, and they're oh. still thank God they're still together. I'm very mm. grateful. I grew up in that environment mm. with the both parents and mm -hmm. family mm -hmm. i was blessed to have that at least so they were here the whole time my, mm -hmm. my parents have been supportive even with the entertainment my mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and they were here during the launch and my dad oh my god my dad would be with the foodies from morning seven o'clock wow. morning till evening mm -hmm. you wouldn't believe it so dad was here my all the dad time literally was here all i had to say i'm a daddy's girl uh -huh. because my dad was here all the time like materials mm -hmm. buying materials and everything mm -hmm. he was in charge of so definitely you want to thank dad and mom yeah, yeah, man, my, my dad played a big role. Mm. I, I, I'm really grateful for him. Uh, my mom as well was always here as well. Mm. Mm. But my dad, because, you know, all this when it comes to construction, this house is run down. I'll, mm. I'll give you a before video. Mm. The before and after. Oh, my God. You, you can't believe it. it. Yes. But now it's looking amazing. It looks amazing. It's taken mm. like two and a half months or two to three months mm -hmm. to actually finish. But mm. it's, it's, been, it's been hectic. Wow. During Corona period, mm. it's not easy to actually do something at that time. So, so, so what about your... your you are outside and your interior design oh, side yeah, it's I you did. who designed everything from the gate mm. you've seen the sign post and mm. everything from the gate from the gate all the way in like i did everything wow everything i would draw the design for the gypsum that i want uh -huh. i would literally sketch it and i tell the fundies i want this this and this uh -huh. and i'd make sure that you do it exactly wow. from in nairobi at that moment my dad would send me pictures of the progress mm. and i'll tell them i'll give a map i'll be like here no it's supposed to be like this mm -hmm. so i did every little every little bit like the interior the lights the chandeliers uh -huh. the everything wow yes wow now guys 
that is how beautiful this place is when you walk in this place you know how vera is classy how very beautiful that is what she's been able to transfer yeah. into this place now the guys of mombasa come in now let's now start this interview <laughs> and move on away from a bit of uh, the glam and everything and By the uh, way, <laughs> um, i do also have hair wigs, oh yeah yeah you are you are yeah mm -hmm. i sell wigs uh various dica vs stresses mm -hmm. um so we have wigs we have mm -hmm. makeup mm -hmm. like this one would cost how much uh this one because it's uh, about 24 inches will be around 50k hey! But it's a one-time investment. <laughs> no, this is no. It's a one-time investment. And I travel with my wife. So, yeah. So, as is care. As is no, care. As is care. Because, you know, we have different grades. Uh -huh. Actually, this one is... Uh, the one I'm wearing right now, it's mm. 50,000. That, that's like... Hey, 50,000? Yes. Kuna are 200k. 200? What? Yeah. You only shampar one. I have, I, have, I have personal wigs that I use, mm. which are 300, 400k. Wow. Yes. 400,000. Yes, but... Uh, we have, which but is, the is most expensive, uh, the most expensive hair you have? Okay, the most expensive was around 550,000. 500 and what? Una tebe na kwa kichwa? Yeah, so, but we do have uh, that one is on special order because like, uh, that is uh, specially done. So people can come here, mm -hmm. have their hair done. Yes, they can also buy their weave. We, I've yeah. seen at the door the Vitox is we here. Have Vitox here as well. Mm. Uh, we do makeup. We're on Third Avenue. Massage. Yeah. Oh, massage is the best. Oh my god. So you have some very good masseuse. Oh, we have amazing masseuse. Okay. Yes. Wanna finish them really Vizuri? Trust. I love massages. So I was very very. I was very, very involved and mm. invested when selecting the. the I've even seen therapist. the video you said it with the massage and yeah. everything to show. I say, yeah. Yes, so I selected them <laughs> myself because I, I travel a lot and I experience different types of massages. Mm. So I had to make sure that I get the best so that people can experience what I like to experience. Oh, wow. Because I like to get massages once every week or twice every week. Wow, every week. Every week, twice hey. every week. It doesn't matter which part of the world I'm in, I have to get hey. massages. Hey. All right, all so, right. guys, you're located on mm. Third Avenue, Nyali. Uh, right behind City Mall, and come, you can come, come in. Come, at come, VS in, come Spa. in, come in, come in, come call, in. Call us on 0718 uh -huh. 18 7 18 Is that anyway. your personal number or the spa number? No, it's the spa number. Oh, the spa number. Yes. Uh, your personal number is 07? Zero seven four one. My personal number is. No, stop! 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 So, so where so is a real interview? Hmm? Yeah. This is a real interview. No, we are starting. Hey, we are, Jehovah. We are, we are, we are starting. We are just having a good time. So that was a warm up. No, we are just warming up and hey, starting. There's a God. lot people need to know, Vera. There's a okay. lot people need to know. Uh huh. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot people need to know. Okay. And definitely, people have been asking so much questions, so many questions and all. Yeah. You travel a lot. Okay. And you go out there a lot. And uh, you do a lot of events and yeah. everything. Wow. When you travel there, do you have your booking agency or how do you get events out there? Um, yeah, I do have a management mm. as well. Um, that if people want to book me for an event or anything, mm -hmm. they contact my uh, manager, mm -hmm. and uh, that's where we take it from there. They have conversations on him, and I uh, get briefed about it. Okay, so so, so, so when you say him. event, mm -hmm. when we book Vera, what are we booking her for? Okay, so I mean this thing called social life that people used to brand that I'm not branded anymore because I'm into business. Mm. Um, it's something that normally st it started in the U.S. where uh, they would book celebrities like Paris Hilton and Kim Kardashian. Uh, so that they can pull the crowds in. Okay. That's basically what people are paying for. Mostly mm. it's not even about the day of the event. Mm. It's just about letting people know that, okay, we have this club here. Mm. We want people to know about it. Mm. We want people to come and experience mm. on the day that you're hosting. So when they mm. like it, they'll mm. come back again. Mm. So basically when people are paying, they pay mostly to push their club or push the event so that people can have an idea that, oh, I didn't know this club is actually here. Mm. So... Um, they pay for that experience where you market them before you lo you do the hosting and then on the day of the event what i normally do is i get in and i interact with the fans i party with them basically so mm. I'll, I'll walk into a club i'll sit at the vip section maybe for like 30 minutes or 20 minutes and then i'll stand up and just have fun with the guys 
so people would come take pictures with me or maybe I'd move around and mm. take pictures with them and wh- how much would this cost how much would this cost <laughs> What would you want to know? It's uh, I think it's a bit personal to talk about that. No, no, no. Okay, now forget about that. Yeah. How much is the highest you've ever been paid for a club appearance? The highest I've ever been paid for a club appearance. Hmm. Mm. Let me see. <laughs> Why would you? Have to <laughs> <laughs> it was actually it wasn't even in Kenya. Mm-hmm. I would say uh, it was uh, abroad. Mm-hmm. I remember, yes, it was a board. It wasn't in Kenya because I also host in, in different countries, in different parts of the mm-hmm, world. Mm. So I'd say at that time I was gone, I think I went for like three days, but I hosted on one day because one day was for resting. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Why do you want to know? Oh my no, God. No, no, just I say. Start pointing fingers at me like, Girl. Say it, say it. Of course, <laughs> yes. People get, get to need to know. <laughs> People need to know, but yes, yeah. people need to know. But even if they know the highest, it's not like it's gonna help. No, they can come lower or they can go higher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I've done the highest I've done, I'd say, was about $25,000. That is 2.5 million. Yes. For you to just come and interact with people? Yes, yes. Oh my for god. An, yeah, oh event, my yeah. god. Yeah. 2.5 million yeah. mm, for 30 minutes. Yeah. Actually, yes, that's, that's because that's it's just, a, that's I just amazing. walk. Normally, I just mm. I would mm. walk in at the prime mm. time mm. Uh, when it's happening. You mm. know, like um, for example, if the event starts at nine to or four a.m., mm. most times you know people go into the club at twelve midnight, right? Mm. So I'll go in at twelve thirty, and I'll stay for like twenty thirty minutes, mm. and then I'll come out. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Basically, actually, the price is for that period of time because I can't stay longer. So, you, so right now, Corona has really spoiled a lot of business for you. Well, yeah, it has, mm. but as well, I wouldn't complain because I am someone who's very well calculated. I'm a, I'm a business person, so I'm very well calculated in terms of like you can't just depend on one business to, to mm. survive. You mm. know, um, I have multiple businesses as well as savings. That's why even during Corona, I can still invest you are able to put up. in this, and it costs a lot of money. Mm. I could still invest in this, mm. um, and I'd still be okay because I have other means that I get money from. Um, in terms of like uh, businesses with mm. retalks and the other things. Mm. And then I also have been saving. I like saving. I don't know. I'm such a big fan of saving. Mm. I save more than I spend. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Save, yeah. Wow. You save more than you spend. spend. Yeah. So but I your hair like, is 500,000. Okay. Now no, we'll but get, you don't we'll, buy no, 500,000 we'll uh, every single day. Let me tell you one no, thing. Yeah? Okay, so you, that see one. Even this, you see even this wig. Yeah. This wig is something that even if you buy it today. This one is like 50,000 yeah, uh-huh. for these inches. Yeah. Even if you buy it today, it's something that you won't buy again. For how I could long? Turn this, I could, like, for the rest of your life. I wow. could turn this to red. Mm-hmm. I could turn it to black. Mm-hmm. I could turn it to yellow. Mm-hmm. Ladies know about this. It's so a you one-time wash it? investment. Yeah, you wash it. You treat it like your real hair. Ah. Huh? Yes. So it's like a one-time investment. And you don't buy 500,000 hair every single day, okay? Uh, uh. It's it's just that one-time So it's just time one buy. investment. The same way I buy, like, designer handbags. I bought a handbag, 600,000. Uh-huh. Actually, Chanel. you posted it Chanel. sometime so back. That's I stopped that you following buy. you. That's something that you buy once, and mm. you know, like, for the rest of your life, you're good. Mm. Chanel can decide that, you know what? You're not making these bags anymore. If if you guys have these bags out there we want to pay double for it wow that's what they do sometimes they'd make it like limited pieces mm. and then after and like your five shoes, years your shoes collections and your bag collection yeah. i've seen a uh, there's a time you posted your shoes uh, shoe collection yeah. that's crazy how many pairs <laughs> i have because i have a whole room full of shoes and bags and wow. clothes I have like a walk-in closet. Actually, I think next time you come, I'll sh- we we'll need to take a walk. Uh-huh. You know, wow. <laughs> we we'll need to go to the crib. Hey, hey, <laughs> to the to the crib, not to the house. Yeah, so, so let me ask you, mm-hmm. where did all this start from? Where did Vera come from? How did you bust yourself into this whole celebrity? Yeah. I might be able to know a few things, yes. but maybe a few people who are watching, you know, Jalango TV has gone yeah. international. Yes. They're wondering who's this beautiful man? Who is she? Yeah. And you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> where, where did all this start from? Well, I think it all starts from uh, me loving good things. I love fashion. And I think I got it from my mom. Because growing up, my mom used to like have... You see what you're saying? You have a room full of shoes. Mm. My mom used to have like a shoe rack that mm. had like 50 pairs of shoes. Mm. And I'd be like, whoa, damn. Every single day she'd change shoes. Mm. Mm. And then so she mommy has inspired you a lot. Yeah, she's very stylish. So I grew up seeing her and watching her, you know, like mm. dress up. Mm. And then I think I just picked it up from her. Mm. And sometimes when she'd like uh, dress up to go to work, she'd, she'd have like a 
pink pink uh what do you call it the straps for uh -huh. the watch uh -huh. if she's wearing pink she'd do pink strap if she's wearing red she'll have a red, red strap uh -huh. Uh -huh. so i used to like admire that a lot so i think i picked it from her uh -huh. so i always wanted to have like a room full of shoes and clothes and stuff and uh i always had that love for good things uh -huh. so in the sense that even when i went to nairobi like uh, i was still very fashionable even before people knew who vera Sidika was mm. and then i got into modeling mm -hmm. when i was in uni because i went to nairobi for uni and uh, i remember i did uh, i modeled for mr and miss ku i, I did the fashion part mm -hmm. And I wasn't competing to be a miss because I was thick. You mm -hmm. know, the, <laughs> the beauty part is mm -hmm. supposed, <laughs> supposed to be slim mm -hmm. and tall. Mm -hmm. So I just did the fashion part and I got connections from there. I got into modeling. Um, and then from modeling, I got into now the video. They booked me for You Guy mm -hmm. music video. Wow. Yes. But before You Guy, I think uh, there's a time... One of the guys is called George Simon. Mm -hmm. George take, Simon, yeah, George, George Simon, Simon Studios. Yes, he's he yes. pictures for Pulse. Is a team from Golden Eyes now. Yeah. Oh, yes. oh really? Yeah, George Simon. Oh, wow. yeah. Hi, yeah. George. I haven't seen him in such a long time. Mm. So there's a time he walked into the studio, one of the studios I was taking pictures in, in town. Mm. Uh, where, tr uh, what's the club? Tribeca. It used to be, yeah. Yes, where Tribeca used to be. There was a studio there. I used mm. to go and take pictures for, mm. for my face. The George Simon. Yes, I used to go to take pictures mm. there. And then Joe Simon walked in because he normally took, I think it was Joe Simon's studio. Yeah, mm. he was there. Yeah. So I think one of the pals guy, was it Stevens Wonder? Stevens Wonder, yeah. Yeah, he walked in and then he saw me pose for pictures. He was like, oh, you look nice. Okay, I want that picture for pals. So they so used you, my picture. So you were in before. Pulse even before you guy? Yes, before I was even known. Uh -huh. Like I've been on Pulse like three times. Wow. Yeah. So 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 now hey, now so let me ask you. Happen. So 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 but but you guy blew you up yes, to Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Because uh -huh. I think those days when I was new in Nairobi, I was uh, I'd say I used to be like you know the way you, you have many followers on Facebook? Mm. Like I used to have friends on Facebook, like 5,000 friends. Mm. And that was like many friends at that time. Mm. Mm. So I used to be known, but in the circle of, you know, like people in the uh, modeling industry and the modeling mm. world. Mm. So I used to have like 5,000 friends on Facebook and it was like a lot. So I had people who knew me, but I wasn't like blown up. Uh -huh. Yes, because so, we used to do modeling uh, once in a while when mm. I'm off school. Mm. Um, then I used to take pictures at the studio just mm. to pop my Facebook. Mm. And then uh, uh, Stephen's windows now saw me there and he put mm. my pictures on Pulse. I think if I pull out those pictures, you'll see it and you'll be like, oh, I think I remember mm. this picture. Yes. Wow, wow. You're talking about at oh, that time you were thick. Yeah. Why are you this thick now? <laughs> I think now I'm super thick. Mm -hmm. What did you I'm add like, and what did you remove? I, well, I, added, <laughs> uh -huh. I think I added my boobies. Uh -huh. You now, added that one? Yeah, I added my boobs uh -huh. because I was thick, but I, I didn't have, like, I wasn't proportional because I was thick. You know, most, sorry, you know, most ladies... Who, who grow up thick uh -huh. most ladies they say that we don't really have mm. big chests you mm. know boobies mm. so i used to be one of those ladies mm. who were thick but i was flat so mm. i just decided to be proportional mm. and i added my boobs at least i don't wear bras anymore uh, <laughs> <laughs> sanitize sanitize please sanitize <laughs> So you added boobs and you don't wear bras. <laughs> I yeah, think I if mean, you add the boobs, point. you should wear bras. No, when you add boobs, I mean, you don't have to buy a shop for bras. <laughs> so, but uh, this one you did not add totally. No. I mean, like, I was in South the Sea and I, they used to call me Wezere. You know that time there was a song Ma called Wezere, Wezere. Eh, Wezere. Eh. So I used to have a classmate who used to call me Wezere because I was thick. And mm. I used to be, by the way, I was a school captain, guys. Mm. Uh. I was extremely smart mm. in school. I was mm. a school captain, mm. perfect. Um, so I used to school captain now when you're a prefect, you used to wear different uniforms from the other students. Mm. So our uniforms were tight, tight skirts, mm. and the other students were pla you know, the plated skirts, uh, yes, they're like kind of loose, yeah. Uh, uh. So my skirt used to be so tight, <laughs> like it used to be like when I wear it, like mm. people would be like, damn, because now it used to show my body, mm. and it was kind of like uncomfortable sometimes because. Uh, some teachers would be like, oh, your skirt is too tight, but when you when make it loose, it looks funny. Mm. Wow. So I grew up with that, uh -huh. but I had a problem showing it off because I used to feel fat. I used to feel, oh my gosh, man, I don't like this. It's too much attention. So sometimes I would wear like baggy t-shirts uh -huh. during the weekends when I'm going places, like I'm trying to cover it. Uh -huh. But when I came to Nairobi, I don't know how it happened. I just decided to live my life and I would start wearing short dresses, 
start showing my calves and then people know would appreciate it they're like damn girl and i'm like okay they like this <laughs> And then I started embracing it. So you just left it and, and you I was said, like, Whoa. oh, okay, <laughs> nice. So I started liking the attention <laughs> and I was like, man, I don't even know I used to cover myself. I used to, but then there's a time I used to like starve myself so I could be skinny. What? Yeah, growing up because I had that problem where I used to feel fat. Mm. Just because I was like hippie. big, yeah, you know. So, so today you can confirm you've oh, never man. added anything. I've never had, no, I've never. If you ask my schoolmates, they'll uh. tell you this. So it's, it's, only it's only the chest. It's it's only the chest. How much did and it my cost you? Uh. Uh, uh, your teeth, uh, your teeth. How much did it cost now? To do my, oh, to uh, do my boobs, uh. just twenty thousand dollars. Hey, two million. Yeah. Jesus Christ, I'm a carpenter. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I got it done in uh, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Yes, because I feel next to Paris Hilton's home. Yes, and Where? Kim Kardashian. And, and Kim. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. No, like, oh. Hi. 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 <laughs> Better you are killing me. You no, are but two million. Yes. So you went there and it's a surgery and everything is done. Yes. And you choose the size. Yeah, you choose actually. They show you. So you are cap what? J e plane or D plus, <laughs> and they're very jelly. Like they're actually good. Let me tell you what thing, guys. People always say that, oh, you know, surgery is not so good. Why mm. would you get your big boobs done? Mm. But when you look at the history to why people started having their implants and mm. the boobs done, mm. is because of cancer patients. Uh -huh. You know, breast cancer sometimes now they cut the boob off and you only have one boob. Okay. So just to cut people the embarrassment of you know not having low self esteem, mm. having one mm. boob, mm. so they came up with a uh, solution where. Mm. They could actually create another boob, boob for you once for it's you, taken so that, off. Yeah, because, uh, once it's taken off, so, so that you can at least be proportional mm. and have confidence and uh, self-esteem. You know, self uh, mm. So that's how the, this whole implant thing came out. So it's very, very safe because what normally happens, they put it, they don't interfere with any of you. You can breastfeed. Mm. You can still breastfeed and they wow. will not interfere. Because you see the boob, mm. uh, the breast has a... Uh, a cup there's a there's like a like a pocket mm -hmm. in your in your breast for for the ladies mm. there's like a pocket which mm. looks like this which is just empty it doesn't mm. have any job mm. it doesn't have any purpose in the in the breast mm -hmm. so they normally just in, they put the implant in that pocket mm -hmm. so they can just boost it wow so it doesn't interfere with anything in your breast mm. yeah and you change your skin whichever color you want okay. <laughs> Sometimes you are brown, sometimes you are black, sometimes you are red, sometimes you are pink. Hmm? I think it depends on the mood. And what was that, by the way? I'm what? Just joking. Um, I think that was just. Okay, let's talk about with Vera from the dark Vera okay. into the brown Vera. Okay. And the Vera who can change her skin whichever color she wants. <laughs> Okay, so the dark bear was beautiful. I mean, when I came out on a you guy video, people saw me, and the, actually, the reason why I trended is because I was beautiful, you yes, know, and yes. my, my body looks nice. Mm. And uh, I played the part well. There were like 15 girls, but I was the only one people were talking about. Yes, there I must, can still remember it with the striped black and the white. Yes, there's mm. something they must have seen in that. Mm. So I was still beautiful being black. Mm. So um, I still got attention, I still got gigs, I was still hosting, I was still doing photo shoots and I was getting attention as well. But I just wanted to change for my own personal reasons, not because anyone asked me to change or not because I didn't get a better deal. Because it's not like I was trying to change so I could get into you guy or become famous, no. You were already, already famous. famous before. But what made you change? I don't know, I think it's just a um, personal decision, just wanting to change. I feel like I, I, for some reason I think... Uh, let me let's just be honest guys take pictures every single day ladies take pictures every single day and when they take a picture they still enhance it with filters the brightness you structure, understand like let's what? just be honest so you didn't so, want all this so filtering <laughs> you yes. wanted to be the filter <laughs> <laughs> i wanted to be the real life filter <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I just realized like one of those days when you take a picture with good lighting and they're like, damn, okay, All right. this is actually interesting. So you love, you love I this? I, I, I liked the, the, what I saw mm. when, you know, taking pictures, experience and stuff. Mm. And I was like, okay, maybe I could actually change because I feel like, okay, I think mm. it would suit me. You understand? And not that like must have changed. cost you another. Yeah, it's another. cost me a lot. Because it's, it's not, it's not this Kawaida <laughs> ones. Don't ask me. It, it is not the kawaida ones, eh? Well, yeah. Because those ones leave some uh, very ugly marks, eh? 
So, unasikia? Which one is I this that, that works and the whole body changes and everything? No, but seriously, I was still beautiful being dark skin. I was yes, extremely yes, beautiful. Yes, yes, And I was thick. Mm. But mm. I changed my skin and I realized something actually. Mm. And at some point, I think it made me feel like it was a social experiment. Mm. Because um, I would start having my, some of my exes being like, Wow, you look so beautiful. And I'm thinking like, like, dude, like, wasn't I beautiful before? You know, like, there's that kind of vibe you get. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you look so beautiful. Oh, mm. what? And you're thinking like... Wow. Wow, that's that's crazy. I mean, the, the, I had there's, people, like, the, there's I had... this story about you, one of your Nigeria boyfriends yeah. who said, I love you the way you are. Mm -hmm. All I need is you to hold some light on your body. To do what? To add a bit of love. Nobody said You are a bit darker. Who said <laughs> I hear Nigerian brothers love you white. <laughs> Which Nigerian brothers? I, I never hear anything like that. Uh, you've never dated a Nigerian hey. brother. What did that happen? No. I've been dating Nigerian boys every day. <laughs> Hey, see my nyash. I like this kind of nyash. Jesus, Jesus, <laughs> you kill me very well. So it's your Nigerian boyfriend who made you a DJ. No, it was. <laughs> it's not my Nigerian boyfriend. <laughs> they actually found me like this. Actually, I dated a Nigerian guy when mm. I was dark skin, and I still date Nigerian guys after. So mm. it's not like. So which one did they like? You like her. <laughs> Of course, they loved you lighter. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, oh, hey, talking about dating, mm -hmm. who's dating you now? <laughs> Why are you asking? No, just asking for people to know because you've, you, you've left the doctor. <laughs> the doctor, Tanzania doctor, is gone. My brother, Tile, is gone. <laughs> Nigeria man is gone. Mm -hmm. Now you no posting no one. I don't post. I'm not posting anyone. Who is this man you putting in silence? Um, I, I believe like if something is happening and it's special, mm. um, there's no need to really like show show people that okay, you know, this mm. is what's happening. Mm. I just feel and believe like at this point, I mm. just want that kind of low key situation. Mm. Well, I've been seeing someone young yeah, for a couple of months now, mm. but it's been, you know. Yeah, I know been, him. Ah! There are rumors. Loki, but it's there, so... there are a lot of rumors. No, it's is it true that you're dating Banner Boy? Oh my God! Who told you to ask? Mm -mm. There are stories dating. all over. I'm not dating Banner Boy. He, just... has a, he has a he has a girlfriend. Mm. No, no. Oh, oh, so you guys are just friends? Enter body. Enter body. No, no, Why no. are you drinking water? Somebody, please. This question is too hard. <laughs> uh, please add me water too. Uh, can I? Uh, let me. Let me. Let me. Uh, uh, ah, really? Uh, ah, Jay, uh, really? Uh, 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 bring another uh, very cold water, please. Uh, so, is it true? <laughs> Is that true? Is that true now? It's not true. How did you even end up asking me that question? No, no, no. Just because the story was out there. I'm only asking what you story? things. Mm, I didn't uh, even hear it. No, there was a time everybody talked about it. Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't the know. A few blogs wrote it. If you just Google uh, yeah. Vera Banner Boy, it will come up. Uh, hey, God. There were rumors left, right, and center. Is it true? Rumors are always rumors. There okay. will always be rumors. We'll treat so. them as rumors. Yes, yeah, true. Okay, sir. Let me. Because. Uh, that, that, that's okay. I oh, yeah, actually brought water. Hey, hey, God. There's, there's water. There's water. There's water. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey, Jay. No, it's, it's okay. okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, so there's somebody special. Yes. We're not going to talk. We are, we are not going to talk about exes, and this is not yeah, their space. True, true. This is not uh, about no, them. There's someone special, and I'm so happy. I won't lie. Uh, do you want I to? Even have do you want weight. to talk about it? <laughs> You've added even, weight because happy of it. Weight. <laughs> eh? You've added weight. It's called happy weight. Oh, you know? happy! Uh, this is happy weight. When you're in a relationship and you're happy, mm. yeah, it happens. Hey, wow, wow. Yeah. So we we believe it at that for now. Yeah. yeah, and I'm actually on a process to do a journey for my weight loss using detox as well. Um, you know, with Corona happening, so many things were cut off in terms of like uh, cargo, cargo mm. planes mm. and stuff. Mm. Everything was like stopped. So my products was not in the market for for a little bit of a time, mm. yeah. 
and then now when the flight started is when I was busy setting up yeah, my yeah, spa. I yeah, yeah. yeah, I was busy setting up my spa. So mm. no, you, you don't even have time to start drinking beetroot. So I was literally mm. up and down, up and down, busy. You know, just having a whole life of so many things happening. So yeah. I didn't really have that space to sit down and actually uh, work on my weight. So I was just like enjoying life with my ba my baby and working at the same time. Hey, and <laughs> enjoying life with your baby. Yeah. Do you want that. to talk about him a bit, <laughs> or is private and special? Well, it's private, mm -hmm. but uh. he's he's. I'm just happy. Mm. I won't lie. I'm just happy. Is I realized. Kenya? Is he Kenya? <laughs> he's Kenya. Yes. He's Kenya. Oh I realized, God. to be honest with you, I realized that sometimes, fuck what people think. Oh, I'm so sorry. I mm. say fuck. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes, okay. like, it's it's not about people. Mm. Sometimes you have to be selfish with yourself. That's true. And your happiness comes first, no matter what people think, what people mm. say, what people mm. would anticipate, and mm. all that kind of stuff. I realized, like, mm. it's time to do me. Mm. And I'm a lot happier now. You know, wow. being in Mombasa, I see my parents every day. Mm. I'm with my baby. It's just so magical. So the, the baby is here. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, oh my god okay anyway anyway where what can what is this one thing you can never leave the house without one thing i can never leave my house without mm. Mm. in terms of beauty or just anything what just my that, phone oh your phone yeah because when you have your mm. phone you can have everything mm. else mm. because uh, well, if it's beauty there. and everything i've seen you leave the house yeah. so many yeah, times without, without makeup, makeup yeah. and then with your hair just like natural uh, natural yeah, yeah actually uh, most of the time i stay natural uh-huh yeah i so, like so your phone natural. you can never leave the house no without. i'm addicted mm. to my mm. phone because mm. my phone is my office mm. with social media marketing and mm. everything i communicate mm. with my manager and mm. my team for my businesses mm. as well mm. and then i have my mpesa so mm. i would rather like stay without cash mm. but i know with have if i have my phone you have my okay. mobile banking you and everything what is this one thing about your kind of man my kind of man oh my god i think first of all i like and love affection and attention oh my gosh mm. if i'm a libra so we fall in love so deep and mm. i feel like when i get that affection mm. i like a guy to be affectionate and be always you know cuddly and mm. touchy and kissy it shows like someone loves you you don't mm. care if anyone mm. is so watching. a lot of pda nini. yeah i like pda oh my gosh mm. i'm a sucker for that mm -hmm. so i love pda mm. and i like a responsible guy and someone who i feel like they know what they want in life mm. uh because sometimes you know people do judge us differently you know people sometimes say things like oh oh she's dating so and so oh sh oh she shouldn't mm. i don't know why people believe like or think that celebrities are not humans mm. and are not allowed to love or be in a relationship mm. and have real affection you understand mm. people always feel like we're robots you're just supposed to sit mm. there and not you know like date one thing that you hear about mm -hmm. men men um uh, one thing i heard about men or rather, one thing I hate, the thing that I'd say I hate if a man would do is lie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hate liars, mm -hmm. both men and women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah, I just like honest people. Like, whatever, however bad the situation is, if you're honest, I'll be like, whoa. Mm -hmm. The fact that you told me is very refreshing, and mm -hmm. I would even forgive someone who's honest. Wow. Yes. So, guys, we are still on this interview. We're almost coming to an end with that. But we can't stop definitely without uh, taking you guys through the spa. Today was not even a bigger sit down for us with Vera to know a lot of these personal issues. Today was majorly uh, about uh, the spa. So, yes. Vera, at this point, we would like you to now walk us through sure. the spa uh, and uh, tell us what to expect. Yeah. We want to show. Uh, this yeah then uh, the one person who will actually walk us through is uh, Ngina my co-host on Jalango TV mm. uh, because she understand much more about mm. women product and everything it will be a lie that uh, I will be the one to show you how beautiful this place is very thank you thank you so much You're thank welcome. you for welcoming us Hello. here and we have uh, a personal chef by the way mm -hmm. so a personal we, chef yeah mm. he's actually yeah. preparing biryani for you oh, guys. for biryani yes oh my god vera <laughs> is just giving us the full 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 treatment and we are happy <laughs> and loving it here in mombasa if yeah. you've not come or visited the vera spa vs spa it is located on the third avenue um mombasa nyali that is right behind the city mall yeah. And uh, the prices our are prices there affordable. Are fair. Mm. Yes, our oh. prices are actually very. Oh, because some people will no, see you our here. And people say, "Oh, no, 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 people of uh of cost mm. and they're very affordable as mm. in like when you come and walk in and mm. what you're paying for as well is 
you're paying for good service and the price is actually affordable the price you'd pay somewhere else mm. you would pay here the same mm. or even less and mm. you still have more more value for your money because wow. we serve you we give you coffee we give you tea we give you fresh juice i think you've tasted our yeah, juice already yeah, yeah yeah we give you fresh juice we mm. have wine as well mm -hmm. um for guys if you want a beer on fridays we do have that mm. fed and a beer uh so we do have the extra services that most people i feel like neglect mm. In Mombasa, and the prices are actually very affordable. We'd be so surprised, right? They will show you a price list. Wow, they're very affordable. Yes. Wow, thank yes. you, thank you so much, Vera. Yeah. Guys, now we are just opening for you the doors into the VS Spa. Wow. We'll be walking out from the reception to every single service that is in here. Ngina, take it away. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jalango, for handing it down to me. Now, I'm pretty sure out of that interview, you are very keen to see how this part looks like. But not to worry, that is exactly why I am here. So let's get in. Let's meet Vera Siddiqui and take a look at this heaven in paradise right here in the heart of Nyali. Let's go. My name is Vala Tangina. Let's go. All right, so we are here. And then, thank you so much. Hello, Vera. Hi, dear. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you so much for having us here. Welcome. And even before, I love your dress. Before you say anything, <laughs> it's it the coast, so, so we brought the boho chic I all know. the way to your spa. Now Nairobi is really cold, so yes. we can't do this there. Oh, so yes, we are true. enjoying doing this here. Nice. Now you have such a beautiful space thank going on you. here. And before we even get down to it, we're yes. going to start with the artwork over here. Oh. Please tell us yes. where this is coming from and what's the inspiration behind it. Well, um, I would personally say that um, this is African women kind of uh, vibe. We're trying to showcase how beautiful our African women are with the cheekbones and the long necks and the whole glam going on. I mean, you can see the whole gold thing. It looks like so amazing. A lot of melanin as well. Yes, this is insane. It looks so beautiful. So I found it very artistic. So I just felt like this would look perfect in this area. And actually, this is not really... This was built. This is not a real wall. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can feel it. It's gypsum. Yeah. So I created this because we had a staircase in the back and I felt like if I have just a lounge area where people are just sitting and there's a staircase in the back, it won't look cute. I wanted to play around with this, this the background, you know, so it could be also a picture spot and a signature look for this part. Yeah. So I created this gypsum so that it can match with the, as you can see, the interior on the other side looks amazing. It looks really nice so i wanted the colors to be brown and a little bit of white and because of the dark wood yeah. i felt like it would really complement yeah and uh since we have our clients for vtox we decided to have a wall on this side which is our products which is vtox um i felt like this is a really good section for the retail um section where you can actually place products in the have people buy from here all right yes and that's just the introduction <laughs> of the spa yeah. and anyone who follows you knows that you are such a huge lover for art so uh, i'm yes. not surprised to design. see this here because i did the whole interior i i came up i came up with the gypsum design the concept i drew everything i put it down on paper myself and i had to make sure they do it exactly how i wanted all right any small mistake we start all over again <laughs> so can i walk in now oh, to yeah, where the magic definitely. happened yes come through so this now this is, is where the magic happens yes so a lot of white a lot of silver a yes, lot of glitz and glamour I, I mean look at this chandelier it's so beautiful um i, I came about white because i feel like white is uh White is pure, white is uh, lovely, it's so peaceful, and it's cleanliness. I mean, like, who, who, whoever walks in knows that we clean, you know? We don't just do things the way we want to do things. Like, everything here is clean and sparkly and beautiful and gorgeous. Right. So I felt like this whole detail was very important to do the white and then pop it up with a little bit of gray. Um, that's a wallpaper there. This whole place is made up. Like, this is all gypsum. I created the whole thing. All right. Like, I came up with the design and everything. So, in this particular segment, this is where people get their hair done. Yes. So, this, right? is, the hair, this is the hair segment. Uh, we're having a hairstylist that's uh, Pasi. Pasi is our top stylist. 
He's got training from South Africa. He's really, really good. And look mm. at that. And I have Ooh. to say that they are super comfortable. comfortable right? They look good, but you feel even better sitting on them. Good oh, job, Vera, on this one. I love you. it. So we were talking about your stylists who are yes. here looking so, so good, yes. dressed in black, you know, <laughs> a color yes. to show that they are serious. You know, there's no yes. jokes going on over here. Yes. So yeah. Uh -huh. This Pasi, Pasi has a really, really good experience in hair, especially human hair, weaves, wigs. Like he can make you a wig in one hour less than an hour look at his hair i mean yeah, yeah. he's, he's yeah. really really good he got his training from south africa he's 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 been amazing here so far all right and we have pauline pauline is good with the con you saw the kids i saw the kids they look so good uh, yes pauline yeah is, good job pauline can do this kind of stuff i can see you like that Cornwall i do is, i do yeah. i really do so pauline is from nairobi and she's really good she's one of our best uh we have other stylists as well who are not they're having services done in other rooms at the moment but uh so far it's pauline and Percy. this is the hair section all right Weave, cornrows wigs anything fancy. everything going on in your head you yes. get it done here and then yes. now we come here where shampoo. we do the wash yes all right this, so this is so comfortable can we try sit on yes, it yes definitely so we see okay i'm really short i hope the adjustment really works for no, you will okay look at that and then you lay down like uh so okay. you're gonna see you how your hair washed and it's can i tell you what i like about getting my hair washed <laughs> uh -huh. the massage part oh, i hope yes. your guy knows how to yes, you know there's yes. something that happens when you're getting your hair washed and you yes. just close your eyes it's and you go on go on go on go on it's so magical all right so i decided so to good. do the i decided to do the little bit of deco flower uh the, the, the greens in the back because i feel like in the washing area there's the water feel and water there's a lot to do with nature and i feel like the green would brighten up the place and yeah. make it feel you know All right. have a vibe a little bit so that's cd on that side she's in charge of this area the shampoo area um the shampoo area and the pedicure area she's in charge of that Okay, yes. now guys, just in case you thought that is all going on right here at Vera City Cause Spa, I'm sorry, you thought wrong. Take a look, what's going on here? Now you will tell that this girl is quite the sophisticated one. There's a lot of pink going on over here, yes. a lot of flowers. Tell us a little bit about this backdrop and why you decided to go for this kind of backdrop. Well, um, I feel like girls love pink. I mean, whether you're 10 year old, 30 year old, 50, I feel like there's that little girly girl in us. I mean, all of us still love pink. So I felt like this has that vibe where someone feels like it's, it feels fresh, but it's actually not fresh. Yeah, it actually does. Yeah, I was almost fresh. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's well, not actually, fresh, but. Yeah, yeah. So we actually sometimes spray it and make it smell nice, but it's not like it's perfume kind of spray. Yeah. <laughs> so I did the pink wall because I feel like most women would want to have a backdrop. If you're having a wedding here, I mean, you could take this as a backdrop for your pictures, pictures. for the bride and the, you know, it's just a beautiful backdrop area. And this is where you get our nails done and we have right. Joyce right over here. Joyce is our nail technician. All right. Um, she's from Mombasa. She's really good. And she's also good at massage. Oh, is she? she? All right. Yeah. I think I'm going to talk to her later. <laughs> when she does your pedicure, you just have, you feel that touch when she massages your legs. Right. And you just feel like, whoa. No, this way we have a display for our gel, our nail polishes. Uh, we do nail polishes on this side, but we have the jellish polish on a different area. But just making this colorful, and you have a nice, beautiful nail artwork yes, here. Yes, of course. Um, that complements the whole look. All right. Uh, we have a sink, of course. You can wash your hands, hands and do whatever. Uh, we have the makeup area. Yes, and every girl loves makeup. Yeah. So when you see this with all the vanity lights going on, it's you're beautiful. like, you're ready. Right. I'm ready. Who's getting my face done already? So also, so Salma is a makeup artist. Like she's super good she's amazing she does all types of glam and she's super pretty as well as you can see oh yeah very <laughs> everyone here is pretty actually is pretty. and then now we come here now here i don't know because versus because <laughs> weaves are not the cheapest of them all well, but it is what quality. it is yes they're actually good quality i mean i we do have dombis dombis care but we do have we starting from ten thousand we do actually and we also Depending have wigs going yeah, all the, going way, all the to way to yes yeah. so it depends you have for every class every 
everyone who has uh, who wants to get a wig can actually purchase one so we uh, we have uh, we have all types of wigs so it normally um, depends on the length that you want so the longer it is the more expensive you know all right you know. there you go <laughs> so now that we have already shown you where you can get your manicure done your weaves your hair your washing your hair getting your hair done I'm pretty sure you're wondering how about my feet not to worry we are walking to where you get your pedicure done and it looks magnificent come take yes. a look so this is the pedicure section i mean look at this magic i mean when you sit here you just feel like a queen like a queen you know it looks amazing right very so we have this pedicure area we have the sinks it makes you feel nice and beautiful we actually have a tray that we place here when you have a drink uh, we normally get in whenever we're serving drinks to yeah. the clients. We serve wine, we serve fresh juice, we do have coffee, tea, um, cold water. So this is the glam area for the pedicure. Whatever it is that you want, they <laughs> offer. So don't worry, anytime you're coming here, your yes. thirst will be quenched, your feet will be yeah. done, your hair will be done. You'll come here and feeling like a queen. And then also now, for the people who love massage and all these other things that happen to your body, let me show you where that magic happens. So this is where the magic happens. Can I lie Ooh. down in one of the beds already? I'm ready. <laughs> You're ready, Ooh. right? So and this the is the massage. This is so beautiful. It's cute, right? Very beautiful. The so mood create, just feels right. Yeah, we create that mood, we create that ambience, you know, that makes the client feel, oh, you know, I'm so stressed, but I just want to relax. Yes. You know? And then we have Riziki. Riziki is a massage therapist. All right. She is super good. Trust I want me. deep tissue, everything going and on in my body. <laughs> and so, for the past few days, she's been so busy, and I haven't gotten to have a massage because she's always having a client. Oh, you're that good. <laughs> Gifted good. hands. Okay. Gifted hands and pretty much the world, everyone has been going through a lot of stress right now. You know, COVID happened, so yes. you could use a bit of relaxation. Yes. So, make sure you come through, right? So, here. all these details are created the colors all these details like I, I literally create this myself like I arrange everything so the whole ambience the whole setup I do it myself because I'm just so passionate about it you know the little nitty-gritty details you're hands-on yeah you always so want to make sure that your touch like is in normally, every single thing yes yeah, so we normally have this where we soak our clients uh, feet and it just gives you that relaxing moment before you get a massage done and then you have humidifiers oh my god I love oh yes these. humidifiers are everything yeah they're just so nice mood and it gives you that mood and you can turn to the other side it's nice right this place is so heavenly it's, yeah. I'm not living here by the way <laughs> yeah so we have the scented candles going on, on we have side. humidifiers yeah the setup just feels nice, nice. I know. So don't worry if you're stressed, just make sure you come through yes. for a nice massage and yes. all the things that are troubling you will go away. I, I promise know. you. This is you heaven. should actually get you done. Yes, actually. Why not? But do you have time though? We're going to create time for Oh, this. okay. <laughs> okay, so now we have the steam room over here. And uh, this is Nancy. She's a therapist. She does amazing steam. Moroccan scrub and bath. I don't know if you've heard about it. Yes, I have. You but have, I right? haven't experienced it oh yet. Oh my gosh, Moroccan I'd love scrub to. is amazing. I mean, you know, sometimes people normally say that um, you can take 10 showers in a day and your towel will still get dirty. By the way, is that? Because, you know, a shower does not take off the dead skin that is deep, deep in. That's why every time you take a shower, your towel gets dirty, dirty, dirty. So you need the steam room for that and not just a normal steam it's called a moroccan scrub uh, we have special products from morocco uh, we use these products on the body and you steam and then once we rinse you off clearly you feel like you're clean you're not clean we take some special glove and you do this you just see a blanket of black i'm not jake i'm not joking i don't want to see well. that i think i'll cross out on my own no we won't and you know what's so funny it's like when you come out you actually look one two shades lighter sometimes the sun makes you darker, darker of you course. know the sun tan and all that stuff so this is really really nice especially for people who are about so you do to get for your married. whole body yes for the full body actually let me show you what the steam all right like. so this is our steam room guys that's what it looks like um uh this is the it's actually open because i'm about to have a session so we're just trying to switch oh, it on. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, so I, I created all the steam and everything going on inside here. So I came about. I came up with the. 
this kind of tile pattern because I feel it has that Moroccan vibe. Uh, so I feel like the patterns complement what you're trying to sell, which is the Moroccan scrub. And this is one of my favorite actually, because I get this done once every two weeks. Trust me, I had to bring Nancy from Nairobi for this. <laughs> this is magical. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Super amazing. And this is actually good for your, no your nose, your nostrils. It makes you feel amazing. We put eucalyptus in the steam room and you just come out having a full body detox. How beautiful. It's my favorite. Oh, okay. So we are not even done I yet. No, I really want to experience that thing. Better. No, the Moroccan scrub. Yeah. Eh, trust me, it's going to be a favorite. You'll be coming to Mombasa for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's serious. All right. This is the barber shop. I mean, look at this. So, so spacious, so beautiful, so nice, classy, right? so elegant. The colors are so manly, yeah. right? Yes. And then yes. I, came out, I came about with this because I felt this has that, you know, it has that beastie vibe. It's giving you know? me a bit of Snoop Doggy Doggy vibe. <laughs> Snoop Dogg, you know, Snoop Dogg in the building. Yes. So you know? this is our shampoo area. Uh, we have a massage seat on this side where you get your head massage after having a wash. So you just relax and you get that head and neck massage. Beautiful. All right, and this is where we have our stations, um, our barbers. They're having sessions at other place in the other rooms. Uh, that's one of our barbers, that's Sule. And then we have, uh, so you can actually have a sit here and chill, have a you know glass of wine. All and right. we have the area here. This is the bar area for the men. I mean, guys, look at this. Ooh, I know. So you probably could be bringing someone here, and you're waiting for them to get there. Hair yeah, done. You can just grab and a just of chill. Grab Expensive one. champagne, <laughs> my darling. We don't do cheap stuff over here. <laughs> okay. So you can just have a seat. Uh, you know, grab grab a beer. You could grab a beer as you're waiting for your cut. You could wait for your friend. Have a glass of, you know, wine. Have some coffee, some tea, or oh, water. <laughs> Whatever it is that you want. Yes. They got yes, you. Yes. So this, actually, I created this because it was an empty space, kind of like a veranda, mm -hmm. like an empty balcony corridor or something. I created this, so it's my office. I'm closer to the men. <laughs> I know, <it's> also <laughs> closer to the men, that's what she's saying. So, yes, so try and avoid the floor. So this is my office. Um, Ooh, yeah. There's a lot of bus vibes inside here. Yes, and then I uh, have a balcony on this side. Um, you know chill check on what's going on yes <laughs> love it and of course art as usual because oh, yes, she I loves love art, art. Yeah. and art is part and parcel of yes. my everyday life yes. if you don't know now you know so this is the vip barber shop yeah for the ones who want to feel a bit exclusive, exclusive. and bossy exactly. and vip this is exclusive yeah? wow so we have tommy tommy the barber he's the Baba one who's Lau. taking care of the VIP people. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tommy is really, really good. Uh, he's from Nairobi and he dedicated him, himself to move to Mombasa just to take care of Mombasa clients. Aww. And he's the best barber in Kenya. East Africa, actually. Okay. Africa. Africa. Yes, Africa, Africa. You know? Yeah, so this is our VIP space. Uh, we wanted it to look and feel bossy. So I created this wall art uh, that tells a story about, you know, just experiencing traveling the world. Uh, that's New York. Uh, there's Rome right there. There's, uh, yeah, that's New York as well. Uh, yeah, Paris. she would know. She's going to yeah, all these it, places. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's actually going through a hard time because she's not traveled in five months. You know, we have the artwork going on, and you can have a seat as you wait for your boyfriend or your husband to yeah. get done. And then the VIP that books this room, because it's exclusive, once you get in, we're going to lock the door, and it's just you and your barber and uh, your pedicure lady or nail technician or doing whatever you know manicure pedicure for the men and it's just you and complete privacy you can have a meeting here as you're getting a haircut you could have your family here as you're getting a haircut nobody's gonna hear your conversation because yeah. they're on the other side like, and when you book this room we have a lounge outside where you can just sit and chill and wait for for whoever's getting their hair done finish and stuff like that so all right yes. there you go there's so much going on right here at vera sidika yes. spa and now you understand why she works so hard <laughs> coming up one. with such a thing a lot of effort has been put into i heart such an amazing time taking a tour right here at vera sidika spa it's in the heart of nyali right behind city mall third avenue so anyone who's in mombasa nyali malindi anywhere that you are yes. and you need to be taken good care of and yes. given that vip treatment 
please make your way to Vera City Spa and every other person from Nairobi all across the globe I mean tourists are always here yeah. so we're giving you a plan just make sure you come through to Vera City Spa and plan. you will have such a good time and thank you so and much and you know what's so interesting actually your prizes are really good are they? Yes. All right. Because yes. people always good. assume, oh my no, God, those prices are really are... good. No, okay. it's just that we're giving you an experience at an affordable rate. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. just in case you thought you can't afford it, they are very affordable. Okay. They just want to make sure you're having a good experience and also giving you value for your money. Okay. So make sure you come to Tiberia City Caspar. It's been such an honor being here. Good job, yeah, baby girl. Thank you so much. Thank All right. You. And we cannot wait to be thing. back. Yeah. So now we have the kids' room, uh, the kids' lounge downstairs and the Muslim lounge. This is the Muslim beauty room. It's called Amira's Lounge. Amira in Arabic means uh, princess. So, I mean, like, look at the art. We have the purple nice flower that I created. And I felt like the purple concept would look really, really beautiful. And we do have a praying mat for our Muslim sisters. So when it's time for praying, they could as well uh, use the mat. Uh, we have the shampoo area. I created this nice beautiful wall for them because I felt I felt it looked chic and chic sorry I say chic it looks chic uh, so this is where you get your hair done this is the weaving area guys um, you sit down you have your stylist and this room is only for women this is for the Muslim ladies um, we don't have men coming in so once you get in we close the door and it's right next to the parking area so you can actually hide in your husband can come and drop you and you know you have total privacy um the stylists and hairdressers fixing our ladies here are all female so i felt like this room was very important for me because um, mombasa has a high percentage of islamic religion uh in in mombasa so i felt like having this room would make it easier for them to come for beauty services because most people feel and get scared to go to salons because they always think oh man a guy is just gonna bump in from nowhere and see their hair and that's not it's not allowed in the Islamic religion. So, so that's what it looks like, guys. So guys, this is the kids' lounge. I mean, beautiful. Look at that. Look at this. We have Elsa, Princess Elsa. We have Sophia. This is a kid's favorite. So I wanted to make sure I have the kids' favorite in this lounge so that it distracts them when they're getting their hair done. You know, most times kids scream, they shout. So I wanted to have their lounge separate from the adults so they don't disturb, of course, interruption. Uh, I got these chairs because I felt like these are for the teenage kids, you know, the teenage girls. Um, and I feel like these are for the baby, baby ones. Um, and then if one, one of them wants to do something on the desk, they could actually sit here. It looks nice and pretty. Um, I came up with a concept. I got a really good artist here in Mombasa who did this. He is super good. He's called Arif. And my friend's kid loves Pink Panther. And I know so many kids love Pink Panther. So I had to make sure I have Pink Panther on this side. How beautiful. So I love this room. Like, literally, you can just come and sit down. Actually, I fit in this chair. Damn. <laughs> Actually, fit in this chair. But I can't fit in this one. So this is our kid's lounge, guys. So the artwork is custom made we literally spray painted this whole wall it looks so dreamy i mean your kids would come here and they don't want to leave they would never want to leave trust me and our hair is on point top notch quality service Longer.